they arrived in different African prints, style and swag to celebrate Africa. Happy African Day! <laughs> The event dubbed Africa Day Party was the first of its kind to be held at the Tribe Hotel Nairobi. It happened on the 25th May this year. Um, Africa Day Party in Kenya is a brainchild of Akinyi Adongo, founder of the United Tribe of Africa. I wanted an event that focused on us as Africans, us as individuals, and Africa Day was the best opportunity because then we have a day that celebrates Africa. And what's funny is some of my friends thought that I made it up. They thought that I had just come up with Africa Day, but it's been there for years. It, became, uh, it came about when the Organization of Africa Unity was formed, and that's what we know now as the Africa Union. The Fun Field Night showcased an array of diverse cultural products from Kenya, Rwanda, Morocco, Nigeria, and Somalia. Well, when it comes to African prints, it's really nice. So that like has really passed the message to me. When you're coming to occasions like this, you need to come up with nice African prints to meet up with people's demands. A traditional dance from Rwanda stole the show. And even though it was a night of fast for those who attended, many were blown away. This kind of an event is very, it's nice for Kenya, it's nice for Nairobi because you can meet a lot of people here, you can meet, a, I am, I'm not from Kenya as you can see. <laughs> it's, the best, it's the best opportunity to meet local people and make friends and yeah. have a nice time together. Yeah. So it's very important. I mean, I haven't seen anyone without an African art. I, I mean, I am. it's so really, I, I mean, mean, look at him. I'm Towards the end of the affair, there was a raffle section where the lucky winners won air tickets to exotic getaways, courtesy of the Kenya Airways. I'll take my husband and I'm going to take my son to Diani. Yes. I have to say I know Kigali, I love it, so I'm really excited. Maybe I will go to see gorillas, which was my long, long time dream, so we'll see. Africa Day Party also brought together the tourism stakeholders, travelers, and the corporate world under one umbrella. <laughs> Nev Jiwani of Leisure and Travel Guides East Africa talked about the importance of such events in promoting tourism, especially in Kenya. I think this is amazing. And you know now, because we are, we are promoting Africa, African fashion, and look at everybody, look at everybody, everybody is dressed up. This is another fashion. Uh, you can say uh, you can say a place where people can come and show themselves signature ideas, signature dresses, signature color schemes. This is this is Kenyan product. This is Kenyan. This is Maasai. And look at look at the amount of handwork is involved in this. Look at all this. There's so much handwork involved in so much passion and so much art involved in this. So to put it in a nutshell, that believe you me, this is what. Africa is all about. It speaks for itself. For the last 27 years, Nev's company has produced a travel magazine dubbed Go Places and two directories showcasing the country's cuisine, culture, accommodation and tour sites to thousands of tourists looking for places to spend their holidays. Where the African region is concerned, we've got so much talent. We've got so much passion. People have got their own talents and they need to showcase their signature talents where their personal art, crafts, culture, fashion, hospitality is concerned. There's so much to offer and African region has got so much. If you look at the regions and if you look at our sunsets and sunrise, they've got so much to offer. The plan is to do an event in as many cities as we can. But what's interesting is that the next event after this one is actually taking place in Washington DC in July. So we decided to do Nairobi, I mean, and Kigali, and then cross the borders and go to, the DC, to Washington DC.